Hi, Aries. <clears throat> Welcome to your May reading. I know that it's late. Um, and uh, I know that I probably get, need to give you guys a little explanation. I did the other readings as well. Um, it's just a little harder with you guys. Um, I didn't want to project my feelings onto you guys. During the Libra eclipse in March, uh, a friend of mine for years, like we've been friends for years, like good friends, not, you know, I mean, we lived in the same town for, you know, and we got together several times, like we were good friends, you know, like we weren't the best of friends, but we were good friends and I loved her very much. And she broke my heart. And there was no explanation and there was no closure for my part. Like, I have no idea why she just ghosted me. Um, and I will never know. And I am still healing from that heartbreak, um, but I'm getting past it. <laughs> but like, this was kind of the person that sometimes she would pop in my mind when I was doing Aries readings. And... Um, so yeah, so I didn't want to project anything onto you guys. And that's why um, I didn't do anybody's readings <laughs> for, you know, I didn't do any tarot readings at the beginning of March or beginning of April at all for Aries season. Um, I kind of went into a hole. I, you know, did stuff for Patreon members, but I did not do stuff for YouTube. Um, I just kind of went into a hole in April and I needed to, I needed to get in touch with parts of myself that I had been, um, ignoring and I needed to heal so that I could focus on what I needed to focus on. Um, and I had several, you know, like I, I'm not upset with Aries in general, right? Like Aries energy is amazing. And I have several people, women in my life, um, Aries moons. I, there are three particular Aries moons that I have in my life that are, you know, very close, near and dear to my heart. Um, and, you know, I'm actually hosting an Aries sun tomorrow. Um, and um, I get to feed her. So it's like, you know, it's like I, you know, I, I'm, I'm healing from what happened. I just wanted to make sure that I was good to go for your guys's reading. So here we are. Um, I'm doing this the day after the solar storm. Um, and the really big solar storm that we had um, on May 10th. And it's still kind of like I woke up a little bit hazy this morning and just sort of like, you know, kind of discombobulated in some way. Um, but May's energy feels so much better than April's energy did. The only thing is, is that focus part, right, is being able to focus on the goal and focus on and, and flowing with the energy because everything is moving so fast and there's so many unexpecteds that are going on right now. And you have a lot of stuff going on in your second house of Taurus. Um, all of the rising sign information is over on Patreon and um, there's a lot of stuff going on over there on Patreon. So uh, take a look if you can um, of the things that we have going on over there. Um, that is the best way to support me right now, to be honest, because, uh, after May, I'm not doing personal readings for a while. I'm going to do my best to do readings on YouTube and, and, um, but I, I'll definitely be focusing on Patreon a lot, um, during this time that I'm not doing personal readings because I got to get ready to move to New York and it seems like way more possible now. Um, and that's the focus, right? Like that's my focus. What's your focus? You know, it's like there's, and it, it's, it's easy to get distracted this month. It's easy to kind of feel like you're not really sure, right? Not really sure what direction to go in, not really sure what to do. Yeah. Seven of Wands 
and the two of pentacles. Interesting. The seven of wands, a lot of times if the boundaries that you're putting up are boundaries to keep people out, that's not healthy, right? Um, but there's something about relationships. Like there's some, like you're the unsurety, you know, um, of relationships for you. Two of cups. So we have two twos here. And a seven. Okay. Um, and I feel like you're really defensive about this question. Like, I don't know if you're just being defensive about the relationship question in general. Or if you're just like, I don't really know what to do about this relationship. And so I'm just feeling really guarded with things in particular. Temperance and the Page of Wands. And that's this is kind of what I was going to say. Because what it feels like right now is the guardedness within the relationships. And um, is this feels a lot like you're protecting yourself in some way by not, you know, it's, it's almost like sometimes when we are being um, back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and not really knowing like what it is that we want, you know, and we just kind of get, it's analysis paralysis. Virgos are really, really good at that, right? And we just sort of don't do anything at all. Uh, temperance in the Page of Wands makes me feel like this is about uh, allowing the balance of things in and having the conversation. This feels like in a lot of ways that you need to open up contact with someone. It feels like you need to let your guard down and open up contact with a particular person. Um, and I feel like with temperance, you're being divinely guided. Like, I love this temperance card. I love the Rider Waite temperance card because it has the angel there and she's balanced with one foot in water, one foot on earth, and she's even pouring from one chalice into another, right? So it feels very guardian angel balancing out the energy esque. You could also need to talk to a Sagittarius. There could be a Sagittarius that you need to talk to. Um, <clears throat> let's see, seven of wands. Two of pentacles. Ooh, okay. Um, I think that you're just guarded with people in general feels okay. So we have the lovers that came out on the seven of wands and the lovers for me, usually when I'm reading the energy of the lovers, it's about being whole in within oneself. It's about creating that wholeness within yourself. Um, and then when we create that wholeness within ourselves, it kind of spills out and um, we attract those the people that are connected to us, right? And and we sort of, the people that aren't connected, like we unalign with people and then we realign with people. But the lovers is also a really deep connection and it's also Gemini, right? So that could be one of those things for any of you. You guys could be in a really deep connection right now that you're really, really working on or you're, you know, you're working towards or that's, it's something that you really want to have in your life, but you don't need to, to look for it. It's not something, you know, it's like, Like, I feel like with that seven of wands with the lovers, it almost makes me want to say that your idea of the lovers has changed in some way, you know, which is good because we don't want to be codependent on anybody and we don't want to be ultra independent either, you know, in this world. So 
a happy balanced medium and it might just be that your idea of relationships in general and like what they're supposed to look like looks different eight of pentacles on the two of pentacles I want to say this very specifically this way. When in doubt of what to do, um, you have to focus on your goal. You have to have a goal to be focusing on so that you're not stagnant and just waiting around for the universe to show you something. Um, but also that eight of pentacles is screaming at me saying you cannot bury your head in the sand or bury your head in work and ignore the decisions that you have to make. You know, you cannot, um, you know, this feels like you're almost distracting yourself from the decisions that you have to make. And I feel like if you were to make the decisions in your life or make the choices or start, you know, that action on what it is, you know, Mars is in Aries. Uh, two of cups on the two of cups, we got the six of wands and the 10 of swords. Yowza. This feels like the epitome of a painful ending creating space for victory. You know, it's like when we talk about how in life there is this um, we have to make space for the things that we want in life because a lot of times we build structures around ourselves that and you know as we evolve and as we get bigger you know we're growing outside of those structures and we have to make that space in order to evolve and that's what this feels like feels like the ending of a relationship so that it's almost feels like freedom which is what may is really all about there's a lot of wanting to be free wanting to feel free um but this also feels like being just free from an idea. I feel like your beliefs have changed quite dramatically when it comes to relationships and what they're meant to look like and how they're, you know. Um, we have temperance. Clarify temperance and then the page of wands. Knight of pentacles on the page of wands. That's awesome. Knight of swords at the bottom of the deck. Mm. You know, I often wonder myself if wanting particular things is worth it. <laughs> nine of cups on the temperance card. Now the nine of cups is the wish card, but it's also very easy to overindulge in things this month. It's very easy to overindulge in things, especially because of all of this Taurus energy going on. Um, we can overindulge in stuff super, super easily. So but it's also really great to want things, right? And I often wonder if wanting particular things in my life is actually worth it. Like, I think sometimes you're wondering, you know, certain relationships in my life. It doesn't have to be the romantic one. It doesn't have to be, you know, you know, it's funny because humans define everything. Like, we have to have a label for everything and why like why are we doing that to ourselves um and this kind of feels like that's what you know i i feel like because you're guarded you're so guarded with relationships right now it's 
it, you know, it, it feels like there's almost this opening up that needs to happen and taking the time to do that. But I do feel like there's a conversation that needs to be had and it, it might need to be had with a Sagittarius or a Gemini. Um, but I don't want the conversation to, um, end up in an argument, right? Like this, the, the Knight of swords feels very, very aggressive. So we want to come in like the Knight of Pentacles with the Page of Wands. Like the Page of Wands is the messenger. And the Knight of Pentacles is that slow and steady pace moving forward and not having to rush into anything and not having to force anything. So, you know, it's like this, the time frame right now where um, you might be feeling a little bit rejected and you might be feeling like you need to distract yourself and just work, 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 work so that you don't have to feel any of the pain anymore. It's very easy to do that right now. It's very easy to do be busy, busy work, busy work, busy work. It's very easy to, you know, distract yourself right now because of the energy. I don't know that I would suggest that for you guys. I took an entire month off of April to sit with myself. And I realized a lot of things and I came to a lot of conclusions about what I needed to do for myself and for my own life. And it was very therapeutic to do that. And it's, it's frightening. It's frightening if you have never just sat and taken time with yourself or sat in nature or sat, you know, it's very frightening to do that. But slowing down, right? Knight of Swords, it's very easy to get distracted. Um, but it's almost like I, I feel like you have this rush. There you are, King of Wands. There you are. I feel like you have this rush, this need to move into like a new era of your life or something with the seven of pentacles and eight of cups on the bottom of the deck, just on top of the king of wands and this knight of swords. I feel like there's this rush for you to move into like the next part. And I'm telling you, Aries, I understand wanting to get past the ten of swords this is not a terrible reading. This is actually a really, really good reading. It's just the, the need to focus and not distract yourself, right? Um, and don't, there is no rush. There is no rush where you're going. Um, there is, um, there's a lot of abundance where you're going, but there is definitely no rush. So take some time for yourself and allow yourself to focus 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 get your focus so that you know what it is that you're wishing for moving forward okay i love you guys um and have that conversation if you need to have that conversation whatever it is you know or if you're waiting for someone else to have a conversation with you um you know i have always lived by the mantra that if you're waiting for someone else to show up for you then you are not aligned with them you should never be waiting for anybody you're too worthy to just be waiting for other people to show up so i love you guys um take really good care of yourselves and i will see you very soon Come hang out with me on Patreon. I got a lot of stuff over there for you. Bye.